guys welcome back to the next video this time it is the tranquilio rev 5 versus the burst assassin 120 now what we're going to do right after this is get into what the actual differences are because believe it or not there's actually a lot of differences between both air coolers so make sure you continue watch because right after that there is the thermals okay then so what you can actually see is the major differences is the overall design the design is a lot better and of course the burst assassin has 60 pipes where the tranquilio does have four now the mechanism for mounting it to the cpu is a lot better with the burst assassin because the tranquilio does use a bit more of an outdated mechanism as you can see also the burst assassin certainly has a better co-plate design because the tranquilio uses just to flatten the heat pipes so it exposes the copper of course the uh, burst assassin has rgb and as you know i love my rgb okay then in terms of the thermals the burst assassin goes first so for r23 cinebench the idles are 36 celsius the max was an 89 blender classroom the idles are 37 the max was an 89 again blender bmw the idles are 37 and max was 88 celsius 3d mark cpu test the idles did creep up by one degree which was 38 celsius and the max was a 73 celsius now the tranquilio five the cinebench r23 run was idle at 34 celsius the max was a 97 wow blender classroom idles were 35 and the max was a 93 wow again Blender, BM, sorry, Blender BMW idles were 35, max was 93 Celsius, and 3D Mark CPU test. The idles did start creeping up due to the heat outside, so 37 Celsius, and the maxes were 76 Celsius. Okay, so you've seen the benchmarks, sorry, the thermals. And you've seen what the actual differences are. Now, what I will say is both air coolers for a 5900X pushed to 175 watts. I will say both air coolers still performed well. Yes, the Tranquilio did hit over 90 Celsius. But you have to remember that when it comes to gaming, these thermals are not realistic unless you are running a game that has miraculously come out of nowhere that utilizes every single core which isn't the thing now a lot of games don't utilize every single core when it comes to your computer so generally both of these will run just fine just fine when it comes to gaming but when it comes to very heavily ta uh, multi-thread tasked workloads see, see as editing or anything that requires more than four cores which if you've got 12 cores and if it requires half of them then you know the the temperatures are going to creep up but if you're doing something that requires the full load which generally adobe does and is very memory heavy it will start to creep up in thermals but the tranquilo 5 where the downsides are is that it has a very outdated mech um mounting mechanism like i will show you but here it does connect the overall mechanism to the bottom of the cooler now cooler master did sim something similar to this with the hyper 212 now seeing as i haven't had a look at the new uh hyper was it hyper 212 helo i haven't had a chance to look at it so i don't know if the mechanism has changed if it hasn't then wow but the PLS Assassin certainly has the more superior design. It's got a better co-plate. It does have a much, much better mechanism from when it comes to mounting. And yes, the fin density isn't as 
wide as that as well as it's got more heat pipes now generally the consensus is more heat pipes be more more better but i have also shown in videos that thicker heat pipes do work as well so the clear winner of course is the burst assassin a lot of people have said yes we kind of expect the burst assassin that smack is a smack is but but what I will say is the Tranquilio Rev 5 certainly kept up. It might have hit 97 Celsius. It's the highest I've seen in any of my testing. But remember, I'm pushing this 5900X to 1.3 volts at 4.4 gigahertz full load cores. So that's a lot of heat and a lot of voltage. And remember, you do not want to run any CPU with that type of voltage. I'm doing this purely to push the coolers for you guys so you know that which one is going to perform the better when it comes to the wattage and voltage so yes the 5900x that's the highest i've ever seen 97 celsius but still for something that has four heat pipes and a very outdated mechanism when it comes to mounting it still performed well remember i pushed the seal into 100 celsius it didn't hit 100 so it's still within that very very good both are around the same price 30 pound i have seen the tranquilio a little bit more and i've seen the burst assassin a little bit more but both are good op options if you're just planning to game if it's multi-core workloads then i suggest don't buy either because you're going to be much better off with something a lot bigger and it's not going to produce as much heat. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I've got the AIO from Gelad or Gelad, sorry, Solutions. I've got that AIO. That's coming next week as well as a BenQ monitor. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.